The humid air hung heavy, thick with the scent of damp earth and decaying vegetation. Sunlight, dappled and weak, struggled to penetrate the dense canopy above. Beneath the ferns a shadow shifted, not the flitting of a lizard, nor the rustling of a mammal seeking refuge from the oppressive heat, but something far larger, something that sent tremors through the very ground. Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever slither across the face of the earth, was on the hunt. Its scales, the color of moss and mud provided perfect camouflage amidst the tangled undergrowth. A flick of its forked tongue tasted the air, detecting the faintest whiff of prey. The giant constrictor moved with surprising grace for its size, its powerful muscles rippling beneath its glistening skin. Fifty feet of muscle and primal instinct, a hunter without equal in a world recovering from a cataclysmic extinction event. This was the Paleocene epoch, a time of intense heat and humidity, just a few million years after the demise of the dinosaurs. Life, tenacious as ever, was rebounding, evolving, filling the void left by the titans of the Jurassic. And in this steamy, primordial world, Titanoboa reigned supreme. Centuries have passed, and the reign of the reptiles is long over. The earth has cooled, the continents shifted, and the descendants of the dinosaurs, the birds, now rule the skies. Yet, in the shadowy depths of the Amazon rainforest, whispers persist. Stories whispered around campfires, tales told by indigenous tribes, speak of something monstrous lurking in the murky rivers and dense undergrowth. A lone canoe glides silently along a narrow tributary. The air is thick with humidity. The only sounds the drone of insects and the occasional screech of a parrot high in the canopy. Suddenly the water erupts in a froth of white, a dark serpentine form briefly breaking the surface. A glimpse of scales the size of dinner plates, a head larger than a man, then gone. Was it a giant anaconda, a trick of the light or something more ancient, something thought lost to time? For centuries, such stories were dismissed as folklore, the stuff of legends and overactive imaginations. Then, in 2009, a discovery was made in a coal mine in Sarajan, Colombia, that would rewrite our understanding of prehistoric life. Paleontologists unearthed the fossilized remains of a snake so large, it dwarfed any known living species. This was Titanoboa carrigenensis, a prehistoric serpent that would have struck terror into the hearts of even the largest dinosaurs. Based on the size of the vertebrae and ribs, scientists estimated that Titanoboa could reach lengths of up to 42 feet and weigh over a ton. To put that into perspective, imagine a snake longer than a bus, heavier than a car. This was no ordinary constrictor, this was a predator that could swallow a crocodile whole. The discovery of Titanoboa wasn't just significant because of the sheer size of the creature, but also because of what it revealed about the world it inhabited. The presence of such a large, cold-blooded reptile indicated that the Earth's climate during the Paleocene was much warmer than previously thought. In fact, average temperatures in the tropics may have been as high as 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, a veritable hothouse compared to today's climate. 